everybody, it's Kyle Modern 26 back here again for another review. Uh, tonight I'll be doing a pepper from my friend John. It goes by Mega Hot on the Hot Pepper Forums or the Italian 556 on YouTube. John sent me a really cool looking pod here. Another brown variety, so could be a little scary. This is a THSC uh, Chocolate Scorpion or the Hippie Seed Company, Chocolate Scorpion. So he got the seeds from the Hippie Seed Company and this is what came out of it. And it is most certainly chocolate and has the potential to be nuclear. So this ought to be fun, right? <laughs> anyway, let's pop the stem off and have a look on the inside here. Oh, the stem is on there, good. Man, didn't want to let it go. All right, let's cut her open and see what we got. See a few droplets of oil. It smells sweet. Chinensi. So sweet and floral at the same time, so that's the smell anyway. We'll see if that's the flavor out of it. Good looking pot on the inside. I do like I said, I do see a few droplets of oil on the inside. It's not not extremely wet by any means, but definitely has some oil showing up. Let you guys get a look at it here. So this is what we're working with there. There's a lot of seeds. I'm not going to take any seeds out of this pod. John sent me a second pod of the same variety, so I will, I will take seeds out of that one. But yeah, it's a good looking pod on the inside. Walls look like they're pretty thin. As you, can, you can't really see much oil in this shot here, but there is some oil there. Kind of see it glistening just a little bit on the walls, but not a whole lot. But we'll have a we'll have a taste of it and see what we think. Put my two halves back together here. This one might hurt. That one was very uh, earthy, very grassy almost, very green tasting. <clears throat> Let's see where the heat takes me here. As I was chewing it, like instantly when I stuck it in my mouth on my tongue, it like instantly caught fire whole mouth and then as I was chewing just really 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 started to intensify so far the mouth burn is the most intense part uh, I am feeling a little bit in the throat <clears throat> well let's see I didn't get any sweetness out of that no fruitiness again it was uh, much very much a green vegetable quality to it and grassy earthy green vegetable and grassy not bitter, so there was no bitterness in that. Right now this is a very hot burn. It's hot. Not stinging, but hot. Let's see. Sorry for the noise, my cat's getting in the blinds. Throat burn starting to kick up a little bit more. It's funny, this is a in very intense burn. It's very, very intense, but the pain level is not that high. But it's got a very, it's got a very, very, very intense, strong burn quality out of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's 
Excuse me. Making my nose run, as you can you can hear. Eyes are starting to water. Tongue, very much like the Reaper. My tongue is starting to get uh, numb. So I'm getting a numbing sensation in my tongue. Wipe my eyes here. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I don't experience too many burns like that where it makes my makes my mouth and tongue go numb. But this and the Reaper are the only two that I've experienced thus far. But it's a very strange feeling because I mean your mouth is on fire, but yep, the burn is dull because it's everything's going numb. <clears throat> Still building though. Still getting hotter. I mean, that's really making my eyes. I'm really producing a lot of tears out of my eyes right now. Nose is still getting pretty sn uh, sniffly. Might have to blow it here in a minute. Again, a very, very intense burn. Very intense. But it's not that painful. Um, Nigel Carter had that exact same uh, um, reaction when he tried Judy's Brown Maruga Scorpion. He said it was like probably the most intense burn he's ever felt, but it wasn't that painful. And that's what I'm getting out of this one. This is stupid intense. I mean, absolutely crazy intense, but it's just a burning sensation. It's not a pain. My mouth isn't throbbing. Throat's not throbbing. <clears throat> In fact, the throat's really not too bad at all right now. It's not even burning that much. It's really localized in the mouth right now. <clears throat> yeah, this is the first that I've, uh, where I've been able to really disassociate the pain from the burn. This is the first pot I've been able to do that with, and I'm really, I'm really understanding what Nigel was saying before when he said, when he was doing the Maruga Scorpion, <clears throat> or the Brown Maruga Scorpion. Sorry. Still drooling a lot. Making me drool a whole lot. <clears throat> so yeah, um, again, very, very, very earthy flavor out of that pod. No sweetness, no fruitiness. But thankfully, it wasn't bitter. So um, I was able to uh, take all the other flavors qu quite nicely because th there was no bitterness involved in it. <clears throat> all right, so really, it's making me get a lot of mucus in my throat right now. <clears throat> Man, it's really clogging me up. <laughs> Let's see. Excuse me. Oh, that's a hot burp. Yeah, that was a hot burp. Whew. Yeah, that one burned. I'm thinking we're about leveled off. So, again, crazy intense burn. Crazy intense, but... Not painful. <laughs> it's it's kind it's kind of tough to envision that unless you experience, but unless you experience it yourself. But I really I, that's the way I'm feeling. It's not it's not hurting. It does not hurt at all. Well, no one say at all. It hurts a little bit, but not that bad. But it just feels like I, I I've got a feels like my mouth is like insanely hot right now. <clears throat> Felt out the pain blow my nose here. <clears throat> so yeah, I think we've about leveled off. I'm not sure how I want to score this one right now. Hence why I don't give a number right off the bat. So I'm going to, I'm going to wait and think this one over and see just where I think this falls. Because again, it's a very, it's very different and it's uh, kind of unknown territory for me. So, sorry, I can't give you a, an, I can't uh, give you a better assessment on that yet. You just have to wait and see what I give it in my uh, description for my rating. <clears throat> so it's starting to work its way down. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a night. So again, that was um, the Hippie Seed Company Chocolate Scorpion, grown by John. And he's uh, mega hot on the Hot Pepper Forms and uh, the Italian Five Five Six on YouTube. So John. Really appreciate you sending me this. It was it was really it's really it's a really good pod. It's uh, 
got a very, very, very strong heat to it. So uh, you grew a good one there, buddy. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks.